the matchup with RIT? Uh, well, I mean, this weekend in general is kind of what we've been working for all, all season, so we're excited to be where we are, you know, playing for the final four of our league. And just to play RIT, you know, our, our close rival, it's, it's huge. It's a big game. We're excited. What does that matchup present to you? Um, I mean, it's, it's the same as it's always been. Um, they're a tough team. They're good offensively. They have a good goalie. So, I mean, it's going to be a battle every time we play them. You know, close games, uh, a lot of energy. So, uh, it'll be very competitive. How nice is it to, to feed off the crowd when you have a matchup like that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even when we go there and they have a big crowd, um, it, it's fun to play in front. So I know, you know, being in Rochester, close to their home rink, they'll have a lot of fans, and hopefully we'll have a lot of fans too. So um, either way, just the support from both teams is, is awesome to play in Is it hard to focus on just the one game when you know you're a couple wins away from, from going to the tournament? Uh, yeah, somewhat. I mean, that's kind of been our thing the whole year. You know, we, we got to take it one game at a time. We can't look too far ahead. Our goal is to get to the NCAA tournament, but we we can't get there without winning on Friday, so we have to, you know, kind of take a step back and focus on game at a time. Obviously, you've had a pretty good season. Talk about, you know, maybe the keys to, to what's made you so successful from your own standpoint and from the team standpoint. Um, I mean, from my own standpoint, just kind of, you know, having the right mentality, just taking it one game at a time, like I said. Um, and then from a team standpoint, we're, we're playing on real right now. You know, our, our team's clicking. We have a lot of chemistry going. Our defense is playing awesome. You know, they're... They're in front of me, not giving up a lot of shots, clearing rebounds, making my job a lot easier. Offensively, when they're able to score goals, does it take some of the pressure off you? Absolutely. Um, you know, a lot of games we've played this year have been close games, and, um, you know, just to have an insurance goal is huge. You know, it, it's, it's tough when you're you're playing tight games, you're not giving a lot of shots, um, because, you know, our team, our offense is putting a lot of shots in there now, but we're not scoring right away. Um, it's a lot of pressure, but... You know, just to get at least one extra goal for insurance is nice. You mentioned how hot this team is right now. How much fun has it been this this last stretch for you guys? Oh, it's it's been unbelievable. I mean, I can't remember last time I had this much fun playing hockey. Um, you know, obviously winning brings a lot um, when you're talking about having fun. Um, just the group of guys that we have in the locker room, you know, we're, we're really close as a group. Um, we get along. We do a lot of things together. So it's, it's been really fun. What would it mean to you guys to, to close things out this weekend go to the tournament? Uh, it would be a dream come true. Uh, you know, we as seniors... We haven't made it to the NCAA tournament yet, so I mean, from the start of the season, from the end of last year, that was our goal this year to get to the tournament. So, um, you know, it'd just be everything that we've been working for all season. And uh, just a couple of wins away from getting to the tournament. Yeah, it's a great opportunity at the start of the year. It's really what we set out to is win this tournament. Um, we've been playing really well as late, so uh, as as of late, so we're feeling really good rolling into this time of year. So we came off an exciting weekend, getting a late goal. It's kind of, it feels like an overtime win when you get really excited about that. So more than anything, like we have a very good feeling in the dressing room, and we want to carry that over into the weekend. What's this stretch been like? What's been the key to that? Um, well, I think we have everyone committed. Everyone's kind of chipping in and doing little things that's making us successful. Obviously, a lot of it starts with Chris, uh, Chris Noon, our goalie. He's been playing phenomenal. It's, it's almost tough to lose the way he's been playing lately. Um, but more than anything, we, we have a group of guys that are really committed to doing the little things, and we have guys that are you know, scoring timely goals and you know, doing things that are going to put you in some good chances to win. You mentioned the play of Chris. How much does that help you guys be a little more freewheeling out there when you know that you know, if, you, if, you, if you're being aggressive and you happen to make a mistake, somebody gets you know, patched on your defensive assignment, you might stop it for you. Yeah, Chris is a real uh, calming goaltender out there. He, he doesn't generally make too many crazy saves or acrobatic saves. He's always keeping himself nice and calm, good position. So he just, because he's a goalie that you know controls everything he does so well, it makes us understand that we can do things, maybe take a few chances here and there. Um, in, ch in situations like on the penalty kill too, you know, you have a guy like that that can bail you out when need be. And more than anything, he just, uh, like I said, he's a real calming influence in the dressing room and on the ice as well. Now talk about the matchup with RIT, one of your big rivals. Um, RIT, they're a very good team. We have beat them once and tied them twice, so I mean, we've, you know, we haven't lost them this year, so you feel good about that. But, I mean, they're a very good team. They have some high-end players that have been really successful at this level. They've obviously had success in the uh, NCAA tournament as well, so it's a, it's a tough matchup. They're play we're playing in Rochester, so I'd imagine there'll be a lot of fans for them there. But more than anything, we're very similar teams. We have a lot of team speed. We work very hard. Um, and I think, but I think if we're doing the things we can do well, we put ourselves in a good situation against anybody. Is it hard to focus knowing that how close you guys are to, to making it to the tournament? Is it hard to focus on just that one game ahead? Um, 
I don't really think so. I think you have to look at it as, you know, there's no way to get ahead without taking care of business in this game. So I think we've had the approach that it's one game at a time. Obviously, you set goals for yourself, but and you want to achieve them, all, you know, looking forward, but you have to win each game, you know, in each period and along the way to get to that final point. What would it mean to you to get to the NCAA? It would be great. I mean, it's it's what every player at this uh, school has gone through that's graduated here. So as seniors, there's a little bit of, you know, we know about it. We think that, you know, we want to be in another class that continues that tradition. It's, um, it's and more, but more than anything, I mean, I don't care if I'm a senior or a freshman. I want to do it for this university. I want to do it for this team. And it's a great, it's just, a, it's a great experience, I'd imagine. Keys to victory coming up this week. Um, I think what we really have to do, we have to take care of the things we do well. We have to make sure we have a good forecheck. We have to get a lot of shots on their goal. He was also very strong this year. We have to make sure we stay out of penalty, uh, the penalty problems. They have a good power play. Um, but I think if really if we take care of those sort of things and really push the tempo, we put ourselves in a really good position. Well, you know what? We've been playing really well, and I think our record speaks for itself. So I think these guys have, have a lot of confidence going right now. And, um, you know, a little bit of swagger to their game. So, um, you know, I think that's really important come playoff time. The guys believe in each other, and I, they think they're winners in that locker room, and that's half the battle. These guys, a couple seniors, talking about, you know, being one of those teams to make it to the NCAAs, that's got to be uh, big on their minds at this point. It, it is, and that's, that's the, this is the fun time of year. March Madness on the ice, if you will. It's everything. I mean, I think we're judged. I think we're judged by that. I think alumni, fans, and certainly these players. Everyone wants to experience the NCAA tournament. It's an amazing week. It's 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 awesome. So these guys, you know, that's been a goal of theirs um, all season, and we're two games away from from getting that. Chris continues to be impressive in the crease for you, and really be that backstop. What's been his key to success all season long? We've talked about it before. Yeah, he's just been real quiet. You know, I look back on the Robert Morris weekend and. You know, he had 49 shots over two games, um, but it's the timing. It's when he's making the big save. Uh, you know, I look back Friday night, we're up one nothing. They had four great A's that he stopped all of them and kept, you know, kept us playing with the lead, and that's that's everything for, for our team. So he, he's certainly the, the backbone of the club, and he's certainly played like that in the playoffs as well. He mentioned, too, though, that you know, it gives him confidence that the team's going to get that timely goal on the offensive end for you guys when you need it. We've done that all year. We've... We've won in different ways. We've come from behind. We've played with the lead. So, yeah, and I think and it's good as a goalie that, that he believes that, that if he does make a mistake, unfortunately he's judged off by his mistakes or on his mistakes, that he knows this, this team will come back and fight for him. And I think that's great. That shows that, you know, in every sense of the word, I think this is a true team. What do you see in the matchup with RIT, a team here? Yeah, well, we've played them a ton, and it's one of our big rivalries. And they have a lot of team speed. They're really fast. Um, they have a great goalie. I think that's a huge story. Uh, Noonan versus Matalora, two seniors that are, you know, in the national national stats in, in a lot of categories. So I think it's a great matchup on uh, both sides of the puck. What do you guys have to do to, to beat them? What's the key against a team like that? Uh, you know what? I, I'm really impressed with their power play. They have a lot of motion. they got a couple guys that have NHL shots from the back end. So obviously we want to stay out of the box. It's playoff hockey. I don't want to uh, give them a lot of power play time. And then from then, let's just play five on five. If we have our legs and our skating, I think we're a tough out. When you go from the, the series aspect like you had last weekend to now that one and done, what's the difference there? Uh, there's a lot of difference. There's just I think there's just more pressure this weekend on our guys. But, again, we'll just try to go into it that it's a weekend series. Um, four teams, if one of them sweeps, they're off to, to the dance. So we'll just play it like that.